What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm really excited because as you guys know, I am a Linkin Park fan. So today I decided I'm going to rank every Linkin Park album. Well, let's get right into this. So for this video, I'm going to be starting off with Hybrid Theory, which is Linkin Park's first album. And I'm going to work my way all the way up to One More Light, which was their last album. I'm basically going to be talking about the albums briefly sharing my favorite songs that are on each album, and also ranking each album along the way. Up first is Hybrid Theory. Hybrid Theory came out in 2000, and for this album here, it was more of a metal-forward album for them. I know Chester Bennington with his vocals. He does a lot of screaming in his songs. I've never been a fan of screamo music, but when Chester does it, you can hear and understand everything that he is saying in the songs. It is very emotional, very deep. It is more of a dark album for them, I find. And some of my favorite songs on this album are Paper Cut, One Step Closer, and my favorite song on this album is Crawling. That has to be one of my favorite Linkin Park songs in total because it is a very emotional song. Chester's vocal work is amazing in it. But on this album here, we also have In The End, which is the most iconic Linkin Park song ever. Even those who are not fans of Linkin Park themselves have probably heard this song at least. So this album here, being their first album, there's a lot of great songs on it, a lot of meaning behind their songs. It is honestly a perfect album in my opinion. I'm going to rank it pretty high. I'm going to rank it 8.5 out of 10. The next album is Meta Aura, which came out in 2003. And for this album here, they are kind of switching it up. It's not just a metal band. They do have a lot of metal aspects in their songs still, like Chester Bennington screaming. And it honestly works in all of the songs that he's in. But it also is more of an alternative mix of sounds and... Mike Shinoda with his rapping, Chester with his screaming, the sounds throughout it. Whenever I describe alternative music and alternative bands, it's basically a mix of different sounds and different types of music, which is what I feel Meta Aura is starting to do and what Linkin Park is starting to do with this album. Some of my favorite songs are Somewhere I Belong, Easier to Run, and my favorite song on this album, which most people can probably say the same, is Numb. These are just a lot more emotional songs. They aren't as screaming and as deep as the previous album was, but they have a lot of meaning behind them. For this album here, I'm still, even though I'm a huge fan of the album, I do love that there's a lot of meaning behind the songs. I'm going to rank it a little bit lower, still pretty high. I'm going to rank it 7 out of 10. The next album came out in 2007, and that is Minutes to Midnight. This album here is very iconic because around the time that this album was coming out, they actually got asked by the producers of the Transformers movie to have a couple of the songs be part of the movie. And at first, a lot of the members of Linkin Park did not want to be part of the Transformers movie. But then after sitting down and thinking about it for a while, they ended up deciding to have What I've Done be the song of Transformers. They always loved the Transformers as cartoons and they were a huge fan of Transformers. So to be part of the new movies that were coming out and they started to come out around the time that this album was coming out, the first Transformers movie, they wanted to be a part of that franchise and it honestly works, the song was great in it. For this album here, I'm gonna rank it 7.5 out of 10 because I honestly feel like it was a great album. The next album came out in 2010 and that is A Thousand Sons. For this album here, they started to get a little bit more softer with their music. Still a lot of meaning behind it, but it's not like the Linkin Park songs that you remember where there's a lot of screaming, a lot of vocal work. The sounds are still amazing, but it is a softer album for Linkin Park. A lot of the songs on this are very much along the lines of sounding very similar or having similar meaning behind them. Some of my favorite ones are Burning in the Skies, Catalyst, and The Messenger, which... Don't get me wrong, they're still great songs, it's just I really felt like they could put a little bit more metal into it and a little bit more of Mike Shinoda's rapping and Chester Bennington's vocal work, but it's still a great album. I did enjoy this album. I'm going to rank this one a little bit lower. I'm going to rank it 6.5 out of 10 just because I felt like they could have given it a little bit more of emotional, still great meaning behind the songs, still great songs, but I'm only going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. The next album is Living Things. This album came out in 2012, and this one here is a lot more of a step up than the previous album because even though there is a lot of soft songs and still a lot of meaning behind the songs, you still have Chester Bennington's vocal work, you have Mike Shinoda rapping, and everything comes together, and honestly, it is a great album. Even though there is a lot of meaning behind the songs, everything works perfect and flows together, which is what I love. 
For this album here, there is a lot of great songs, Lost in the Echo, Burn It Down, I'll Be Gone, but my favorite one is Castle of Glass because it has a lot of meaning behind it and the music video was pretty good. I'm going to give this one here a 7 out of 10 just because they're stepping it up again and that's what I like to see when have artists have an album that was a little bit under what we're used to. Whenever the next album comes out and they step it up, that's what I love to see. And this album here was just that. They really stepped it up. Still a lot of meaning behind their songs, but it all flows together perfectly and not all of the songs sound along the lines of the same thing. Every song is a little bit different, which is what I love to see. And Chester Bennington's vocal work is there, Mike Shinoda's rapping is there, which I honestly love. Some of my favorite songs on this album are All For Nothing, Guilty All The Same, and Final Masquerade. They're just a lot of great songs, a lot of great sounds in this, which is what I like to see. Chester Bennington with his vocal work is amazing this album. Honestly, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 just because it is pretty spot on in what I love to see when it comes to Linkin Park. And a lot of the songs on this album are stuff that I've memorized just because I've listened to this album and, and listened to these songs quite a bit. So to have songs that you can memorize and sing along to all the time whenever they're on the radio or playing in the truck... That's what I honestly love, so 8 out of 10 for this album. And the last album is One More Light. This is the last album that Linkin Park ever put out, because after they put out this album, a couple months later, Chester Bennington did commit suicide and take his own life. This album here came out in 2017, and because of the passing of Chester Bennington, this was a very emotional album for me, just because Linkin Park always meant a lot to me, as you guys know, because I've shared stories on here about how I felt after the passing of Chester Bennington. For this album being their last album, I honestly can say every song is spot on and it is perfect. And if I could, I would leave it here and just say that every song is awesome on this album. But I do feel like I have to pick out a few just to mention. So for me, Good Goodbye is a great song because it has a lot of Mike Shinoda rapping in it and it also has Chester doing the chorus. They do have features of other rappers in this song too, but that's why I always consider Linkin Park an alternative band because it's a mix of different music and different sounds in all of their songs. So Good Goodbye has a lot of rapping in it. Sharp Edges and Sorry For Now are very emotional because it's like their Chester is telling a story and that's what I like to see in a lot of their songs and they're songs that you can honestly sing along to and if you hear them over and over again or a couple times, you can pretty much memorize the words in it, which I love to see when it comes to Linkin Park. So when I'm listening to those songs in the truck, I'm always singing out to them as loud as I can, just because they're songs that you can do that with. Battle Symphony is amazing. It just has a lot of good sounds in it. Chester is amazing in it. The meaning behind it is awesome too. But the most emotional song on this album is One More Light because Chester is singing this song. And if you listen to it after the passing of Chester Bennington, you could almost say it's almost like he is talking about himself and what he was thinking and feeling before committing suicide and he put it into a song, but that is honestly just not the case. He actually is writing the song about a dear friend that months before this album came out, he committed suicide. So Chester is actually talking about him, but then weeks and weeks after this album came out, Chester took his own life as well. So it's a very emotional album, a lot of great songs, you can sing along to them when I honestly am in the truck and I'm listening to this album. I memorized a lot of the songs, a lot of the songs I sing along to, and I honestly love that about this album. That's why this album here, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to say 10 out of 10 because every song deserves to be on this album. It's a great album. And for their last album, it is honestly worth saying 10 out of 10 for me. So this was me ranking every album that Linkin Park has ever put out. I'm a huge fan of Linkin Park. It is sad to see Chester Bennington go, but at least we have their music to listen to and remember them by. Hope you guys did enjoy me ranking every Linkin Park album. Comment down below what you would rank each album. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.